April 23rd, St. George, Martyr. St. George was born in Cappadocia at the close of the third century of Christian parents. In early youth, he chose a soldier's life and soon obtained the favor of Diocletian, who advanced him to the grade of tribune. When, however, the emperor began to persecute the Christians, George rebuked him at once sternly and openly for his cruelty and threw up his commission. He was, in consequence, subjected to a lengthened series of torments and finally beheaded. There was something so inspiriting in the defiant cheerfulness of the young soldier that every Christian felt a personal share in his triumph of Christian fortitude. And as years rolled on, St. George became a type of successful combat against evil, the slayer of the dragon, the darling theme of camp song and story, until so thick a shade his very glory round him made that his real lineaments became hard to trace. Even beyond the circle of Christendom, he was held in honor and invading sarsians taught themselves to expect from desecration the image of him they hailed as the white-horsed knight the devotion to saint george is one of the most ancient and widely spread in the church in the east a church of saint george is ascribed to constantine and his name is invoked in the most ancient liturgies whilst in the west malta barcelona valencia aragon and england have chosen him as their patron what shall i say of fortitude without which neither wisdom nor justice is of any worth fortitude is not of the body but is constancy of soul wherewith we are conquerors in righteousness patiently bear all adversities and in prosperity are not puffed up this fortitude he lacks who is overcome by pride anger greed drunkenness and the like neither have they fortitude who when in adversity make shift to escape at their soul's expense wherefore the lord saith fear not those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul in like manner those who are puffed up in prosperity and abandon themselves to excessive joviality cannot be called strong for how can they be called strong who could not hide and repress the heart's emotion fortitude is never conquered or if conquered is not fortitude